Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be a guide on how to run Crusader Kings 2, or really any other game for that matter, without having to use Steam to load it. Now, if you use Steam like I do, um, and I am a huge fan of Steam. I think it's a great way to acquire programs, not have to deal with disks, not have to deal with um, CD codes, and just basically be able to keep all of your files safely. Um, so I do, I do like Steam, but I don't always want to have to be online to use it. The problem is that if I wanted to fire up Crusader Kings 2 right now, it's going to want to do this thing, and then it pops up the installation launcher, and then we can go from there, right? Well, there's two, two ways that you can do this. First off is if you use Windows 7, just right-click here and say, Pin this program to taskbar. And then let's watch. Now we close it. Let's get out of Steam. We closed Steam down all the way. Notice how this stayed here. That's what I pinned. I did not pin Steam's launcher. Again, Steam is not running. If I click that now, it's just going to go straight to the launcher. And I can run Crusader Kings 2 without ever logging on to Steam. This can prevent you from accidentally patching the game if there is a patch out. But if you're concerned about patching the game, you should watch one of my other videos, how to stay on the current, um, current version of the game. Another way that you can do it is that if you want to, if you don't use Steam, uh, just search for Crusader Kings 2. I have two copies right now because I just made that mod uh, or that video on how to back up the how to back up Crusader Kings 2 to the current patch. So I've got my folder now on my desktop for 1.092 just in case the game patches and I forget. I want to make sure to do it well in advance. Well, what you can do is you go into your Steam Apps folder or whatever folder it installed into, and it's not CK2, the EXE that you want. It's the CK2 game. That is the actual launcher. You have to run the launcher in order to get CK2 going because it determines which mods run and all those things. So all you can do is you just drag and copy paste that down there um, like, not like that. Um, we could say what? Pin to start menu, do all kinds. I actually have it unpinned to task. I have to unpin it because it already is pinned. But that's what I did there. It's the same thing basically. So you can do it both ways. If you just want to right click and do it like that or if you don't have the Steam version, you don't have to really do it that way. You can just go into the directory itself and then create a link to CK2 game, and uh, and that's it. So that just prevents you from having to log on to Steam. I know that um, one of the disadvantages I want to mention, though, to doing this, and uh, this may be a disadvantage or an advantage, depending on how you look at it, is that um, for a while, I liked knowing how many hours I had logged. <laughs> 263 hours played. Um, it says last played today because I just fired it up there, but unfortunately, if you don't have Steam running, it won't log your hours. So that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's either good because no one's going to realize how many hours you've spent on it, or bad because you might even look at your hours played like a, a badge of honor or something. I, I remember with another game that I played, I'll admit, World of Warcraft, I was um, almost, almost in a weird way proud of how many days I had played. I mean, I had hundreds of days logged over, over the period of like six or seven years. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how you do this so that... Um, I don't know, it's something that I do. I like having the ability to just not, not load Steam up, not be bothered with pop-ups and advertisements and all that. And so you just create a link like that, and then anytime you want to load Crusader Kings 2, there you go. If you have just created a backup directory, keep in mind you'll probably want to create a new pin, meaning that you would go into, say, here. I've got my current version that's located in Steam, and then I've got my old version Again, these two are the same right now because the game hasn't patched yet. But if I wanted to, I could go here, and then I could just say, create a copy of this. And I could make a copy of this, like a special launcher for this one, maybe on my desktop. Create copy. Or create a shortcut, whatever. Um, and then that way you could have two files. One that's CK2 1.092, and one that's CK2 newest version. So that's uh, my little tutorial. Hopefully this helps you. And I do look forward to seeing you again in the next video. See you soon.